The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Bournemouth against Liverpool. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? A striker with a real nuisance value for me, Mandzukic. I like my strikers hassling defenders as much as possible, and he delivers in that respect. He's happy to indulge in, in an aggressive niggle and, and won't go docile and passive, and that's hard to cope with. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Francis tries to get it forward quickly. Cook. Cook. Lerma. Mepham. Lerma. Midway through the first half and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end it'll have been forgotten. Solanke looks to slip it through. Billing with the ball through. Timely intervention. Get that clear. He'll have a dip! It's Francis. Mandzukic. Oh, good interception. Who's going to make this theirs? Boots it upfield. Throw it. another throw and the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance that's a throw Being judged offside. Oh, just when we were about to appreciate a lovely one touch pass, the flag room the moment. Keeper's got good distance on that. Cook passes it through, cuts it out. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Far too far and out of play. Good idea, just poorly executed. Cook. Mohamed Salah. Now the pass. Now it's Henderson, deflected behind for a corner kick. Boric deals with it effortlessly. Lepham. And we've reached half-time. So your views on the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. And a grossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. 
So off we go once more. Bournemouth can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Fabinho. Alexander-Arnold. Ball swung in. Mohamed Salah has got himself a free kick. Harmlessly behind. Well, in the circumstances, I think he did well to get some sort of attempt on goal because he was pretty much hurried and hassled out of that. Kelly. Billing. Cook. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. Alexander-Arnold does well there, alert. Wilson. Spoon forward. Mohamed Salah. Liverpool really are defending from the front. They are, and this type of pressing is a, a case of counter-attacking a counter-attack. It's high octane and high pressure, high fitness. Salah. It's a throw in. And he checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. And it's Oxlade-Chamberlain. Lepham. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Cook puts his foot on the gas, tries a through ball, and that'll go straight through to the keeper. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Good ball through. He's made sure that that won't get through. Bournemouth may think they're going about this in the right way, but not if a series of passes is leading to no end product. They have to add the incision. Aimed long and direct. Lepham. Lerma. Wilson, there will be four extra minutes. And it's Thiago. He'll try from distance. And time is up. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, no.